Hello, 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 hello everyone. I hope you are doing well. My name is Sayyam and welcome back to the channel, right? Today, we're gonna solve this interesting problem. Today, problem is hard, but let me tell you guys, it's not at all a hard problem, not a hard problem. You will say, Sayyam, you always say these things, but trust me, this is not at all a hard problem. This word, I would rate this problem is a medium problem, actually. If you have solved this problem, lot of problem lot of if it cover the dsa this would be an easy problem for you so i would rate this problem 7 out of 10 and yep with that note let's get started with the video that last day where you can still cross and it's the 31st and last day of the 2025 lots of questions but let's do one more and end the year peacefully there is a one base binary matrix zero represent the land and one represent water you are given integer row and column representing the number of rows and number of columns in the respect matrix respectively. Initially, on the day zero, the entire matrix is land. Something like this. All zeros completely land and day by day, something weird happens. Let's see what happens. However, each day a new cell becomes flooded. How? We don't know. But you're given, it happens. You're given a one base 2D cells where cells of i equals to r i c i. Where represent the ith day on which that cell becomes flooded. Okay, means and very very important. They mentioned it's one base indexing. They mentioned it's one base indexing. Just keep care of careful be of that. So one base indexing is there. Okay, perfectly fine. So and this you want to find the last day that it is possible to walk from the top to the bottom by only walking on the land cells. You can start from any cells in the top row. Means you have can start from any cell in the top row. You have to reach any cell in the bottom row. This sounds familiar, but let's try to read it at till the end. And at the end, any cell in the bottom row, you can travel in four cardinal direction. As soon as you read this, what comes to your mind? Siam, it's BFS comes to our mind. As soon as either recursion, either BFS, this is a hint straight away hit, either of a BFS or DFS. Or you can say recursion. Nothing else. That has to be there. Return the last day where it is possible to walk from top to bottom by only walking on the land cells. It's like an island problem or something like that. But okay, cool. After reading this, you will trust me, guys. You will say hard problem. It seems not at all hard after at least reading the problem statement. Uh, let's look at the constraints. Constraint says, okay, this is not the grid you are given. It's like on each day you're given with on which cell the it will be flooded. It's one base, does not matter. We can convert it into any time zero base. The main important thing is n into m is 2 into 10 power 5. That is a beauty. Now that is not a problem. It means n into m is 2 power. It's not like everyone n is not alone is 2 power 2 into 10 power 5. n into m is 2 into 10 power 5. Perfectly fine. Perfect for BFS. No problem. Okay. We what is happening eventually? What is happening eventually? On let's say on a first day, we have uh on a day zero, let's say nothing is there. So obviously you can walk off. So day zero is always possible. I hope you're getting it because there's no water. You can directly go through the straight line. They go like this. On the day one, what happens is this cell, this cell, if I just do zoom it up, this cell becomes you can say watery. So you cannot start from this cell. Either firstly you can start from any cell. But here now you cannot start with this one. You can start with this or this. If you start with this, you why? Because uh okay, this uh okay, yeah. If, if you start with this, you are stuck because there's nothing you can go about later down there. So if you talk about okay, I think uh, uh, this is day one or uh, something like that. Because, oh, see, this is day one. My bad, this is day two. So, yeah, this is day one. So, I was saying about, if you try to, you cannot start with here. You can go with here and easily go downward. Or you can pick this path also. Your choice. So, it does the work. Now, in the day two, this also becomes, this also becomes, you can say, flooded. Now, you cannot start with this node. Because if you start with this node, you got stuck. You got stuck. So, you have to start with this node only. You have to just find a way. That's all. We are just we are surviving. We are not exploring all the paths. Cool. In the third day, this also becomes flooded. We cannot go directly. So you have to use some 
twigglies, twigglies, go left, right, cool. And now on the day four, you observe there's no day possible that you reach here. If you go this path, you stuck. You go this path, you stuck. Hmm, Sayyam. Definitely, definitely, definitely. We understood that if we have a grid, if we have a grid with 0 and 1, and we need to reach to end, to reach end, that we can do. Can we do that? Uh, say I'm at a particular position, if you already, see, forget about uh, it is flooded and it is changing, don't worry about it. Try to think, if at, at a particular moment, if you have a cell with zeros and ones, lines and water, can you somehow tell me that you can reach uh, the bottom row or not if you start from the top row? I'm saying we can. We can. How? How? I think, same. So we have to do BFS that we are pretty sure about it from this point of time because it's 2 into 10 power 5. So obviously there's no recursion. Keep the recursion. DFS we generally don't do in grid. BFS more preferable. So we do BFS. We understood one thing that okay, we have to start from this and we have to go till here. So doesn't it look like a multi source BFS? Oh, yes, it is. It's a multi source BFS. That is also perfectly fine. But can we start from all the points? Uh, no, we cannot because some may have water. Some may have water. Some may have water also. Uh, right, so yeah, we are absolutely right about. So we can start from those cells and we can push those cells into our initial queue, which are zeros. It's a multi source BFS, right? That's how you can do it. You cannot go one by one and check every every BFS. You can easily do a multi-source BFS. So yes, the first step easily we understood that we can do that. Uh, yes, say we can do this. That uh, you can start. And then what are you gonna do? You just write a BFS thing. Go on all four directions. We'll see a good implementation of that. Also, I hope you remember there is a DX array and there is a DY array to go in all four directions. It's a better way always to go write the BFS code, maintain the visited array and I think standard BFS stuff. Once you reach a row equals to equals to is equals to row minus one zero based indexing I'm talking about. You boom, the job is done. Job is done. And obviously you've already checked that, that if there's not one, right? Job is done. And you have successfully reached. And you can easily check that. Okay. So we got it. But we don't have lands, right? But we have to, day we have to find. It's not we have to check it. Right. So after seeing this, I always tell you that what you need to check. Whenever you have to find the last day, maximum, minimum, try out, always check the monotonicity. Check the monotonicity. Always it will help for list. So, if I just try to think about it, if I reach a day i, let's say, or you can say a day d, uh, will I be able to uh, reach uh, d minus 1 also? Means, is it true for d minus 1 also? Uh, yes, I am, definitely. If you are able to reach and last and survive till day d, obviously you will survive d minus 1 because it is before, right? Means, there is a valid path exist till day minus 1 only, then only d is possible, right? Yeah, it might be D plus 1 is not possible. Might or might not. But at least for D, it is true. That means what? That means what? It's like, till a particular point, till a particular point, it is always true that it is possible to reach. But at that, after that, it will start decreasing. And we just need to find this point. What is you remember? Like after this, seeing this, what do you remember? Oh, say a monotonicity, it's strictly increasing. Yes, that's exactly what I just want to mention. And it's nothing but a binary search on an answer. If you're worried about this topic, I already made a detailed video in my DSA revision series. You can just check it out. The link is will be in the description. Okay. So it's a binary search on answer question. Okay. This is that simple. So what is the uh, idea? Idea is pretty simple. You fix a day D, or you can say fix a day day D. That okay, at this particular day, whether it is possible to survive or not. And based on that, we will move our ranges. So what you can say, oh, 
Let's check it. How we can check? I already explained to you. What you can do? You can make a grid. Firstly, all zeros. Till day D. Fill the cells with one of grid. Okay. Fill the cells. And then what is the idea? Once you fill the cells, obviously, then you can gonna push your possible starting nodes. And what is the starting nodes? Initially, all elements of the first row, starting rows. But, but, but there is a problem that it might happen that some cells are flooded. So don't push that, right? Obviously, you understood that. And then what are you going to do? You start a BFS. Start a BFS. And in the BFS, if you explode, if you explode, explode a node with row equals to equals to row minus one means like uh, I'm talking about the row of row is the even the n of the uh, like rows of the grid, right? Row minus one. You can say that you can say r. This is r. Row minus one, we can straight away return true. So it is always possible to reach. If you find a way, at least one way we need to figure out. Otherwise, we explode the cells and we are stuck somewhere. After the queue becomes empty, we will return a false. Ah, uh, it's not possible, guys, at this day level. Because I hope you are understanding as day by day increases the possibility of getting to the shore or the last bottom row, it's becoming difficult because there are more water cells. So it's more difficult. And that's what yes, you need to do. So it's very, very, very simple. It's just that simple. And then what are you going to do? Just apply a binary search and answer. If, if the let D satisfy, if D becomes true, means it is possible. So what are you going to do? You're going to shift on the writer half. And you, what do you want to find? This is a low. This is a high. And you find a mid. You find a mid. You gotta check whether this mid satisfy uh, the constraint or not. That means it is possible to reach this mid or not. If it is possible, go and check the right half. Ignore this half. Why it is useful? Because this all will be true. We eventually know that. We gonna keep re repeating this process. This is nothing but binary search, right? Binary search. It's no need of sorted things. Shortage is nothing is there. It's we are sort we are doing the binary search on the day we are talking about. Right. So yes, this is the high level idea. Let's see if we can understand this with the help of an example also. So what are you gonna do? Let's say for this example, uh firstly, uh like if let me just pick this. So the idea is firstly we'll start with what low equals to zero. And then high equals to what? High equals to 9. At max, 9 is possible. Uh, 9 days we can survive the number of cells. So the mid will, will be eventually what? 4. Uh, 0 plus 9 by 2. 4. Is 4 possible? We know that 4 BFS is not possible. There is no way. So we're going to reduce our mid. We're going to reduce our mid. So how we reduce it? So we actually reduce our high. High equals to mid minus 1. Absolutely right. So now our new and now high becomes what? 3. Low is 0. Low is 0. Absolutely right. So now our new mid becomes 0 plus 3 by 2, which is equals to 1. Is 1 satisfying? Yes, it does. It does. So what are you going to do? You're going to push on the writer side. Now you increase your low to what? Mid plus 1, which is equals to 2. Now high is 3. So now you again find your mid. It is 2. Mid. Is 2 satisfying? Yes, it does. We are able to find a node. Yes. So what are you going to do? Again, you push your low. Your low becomes 3. Your high becomes 3. Your mid becomes 3. Is 3 satisfying? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. We have already saw that. This is the day 3. It is still able to do that. If we do further, low becomes 4. Which is not possible the case. Because uh, it exceeds the high. We stop the binary search. And boom. This is the maximum possible 3. We got it. Right. I hope you understood it. Let me just quickly show you the implementation that you understand it better. So that's a very straightforward implementation. So what do you want to do? You're going to start with low. You're going to start with high. 
you're going to start with answer is equals to 0 because you want to maximize it you make it 0 0 day is always possible zero today uh you find a mid you guys going to check or whether it satisfy or not if it is true you're going to make the answer to max or mid you can put answer equals to mid also uh i just do max i don't know i like it <laughs> but okay low equals to mid plus 1 and else high equals to mid minus 1 it's not possible shift the high otherwise it's possible shift the low then what are you going to do standard vfs stuff you make a new grid you make see remember that it's one based indexing that's why i need to do a minus 1 so what are you going to do till the day the cell in the same order you just make it one okay then okay this is uh is you can say a land is, or it's a water is there then you make a visited row of the row and column make the dx dy standard bfs stuff put the columns only those columns or I means only those uh you can say pairs which is possible start right it should be zero there should be land is there there's no water we cannot start from the left <laughs> water then similarly bfs stuff you pop out a row you pop out a column if you reach the bottom row boom your job is done and remember that in this queue all lines are only there you don't need to check whether it is one or not here you need to check obviously when you are traversing into a new row new column and when it is in a queue it will be obviously a land okay pop it out you're gonna traverse all four direction new new row new column check it it is, should be valid inside the valid range should not be visited and uh, obviously grid of n column n row should be equals to zero uh, that is standard you should understand that because it should be land it should not be water you cannot traverse on water if it is that the case make it visited pick it push and if somehow again in the row itself you like somehow you found bottom row you return true and if your queue becomes empty you try out all possible ways it does not work then you have to return false obviously yeah. this is it and yeah if you try about the thing about the time complexity the time complexity of the solution is o of n m log you can say that because you are at max traversing uh, n m in the bfs stuff log n is for uh which i'm obviously there's a visited thing also but i'm just considering the direct time complexity n m log n type of time complexity n is here you can say row into column it's better actually row call row into call into n size of the cells okay this is the time complexity or log n sorry this is the time complexity space complexity is o of m in or row into column again okay so yeah this is under the constraints uh yeah i hope it's not very hard uh if you love the solution make sure to subscribe to the channel like the video we'll see you in the next video then till then keep learning goodbye